Good morning, friends. In the previous videos, we have learned about some basic, uh, uh, some basic pair RDD uh, methods. For example, we, first in the first, very first test case, we learned about how to create pair RDD using map to pair. In the second unit uh, test case, we learned about reduce by key method, where we are counting the total number of strings of length of a particular length. That how many you know, count of that. In this video, let's learn about group by key method. So. Again, I will uh, just to save some time, I will uh, just copy what we have done for reduce by key. Let me copy paste here and then we will make some changes required for group by key. So up till this part is fine. And uh, let me change some parts here so that we can uh, call this group by key method. So this part is uh, same as before. So we create a RDD uh, from the text file that we are passing and we, create, we call this map to pair method with again, we are using this length, uh, the length of that word or the line and just putting as one as value so that we can count it later on or make a sum of it. But here, I mean, if you go uh, instead of reduce by key, I will use group by key and group by key doesn't take any parameters. It only take it only takes uh, this. So let me change it. It would be creating a integer of iterable long. So as you can see, migrate, migrate counts to this. So here it will be using. So instead of that, I mean, let me uh, change it here. It should be, or maybe let's let me change it as war here. I'll explain that what we're doing. So here, once I convert it to war, I can see that it's using integer as key and an iterable as long. It actually returns an iterable of long. So if I go back to our, uh, the, to the Java APIs here, I mean, sorry, the Spark APIs here, the tutorials. So in group by key is given then when called on data set of KV pairs returns a data set of K iterable V pairs. So it's actually creating an iterable of the V or the values that are there. And there's also a very important note here. If you are grouping in order to perform an aggregation such as sum or average. So here in this case, we are using sum, right? So over each key using reduce by key that we did our in our previous test case that is or aggregate by key will yield much better performance. So this group by key is should be avoided as much as possible because it is not very performance efficient. We should always use reduce by key with a particular function because this function can can be reducing uh, or doing anything. Group by key will always create uh, because it doesn't accept any function. So it will always create an any table if the data size is very, very huge and we are doing some time of sum and average it, this table will be again very, very huge for each of them. This is what we can reduce it by calling reduce by key method or aggregate by key method, which accepts a particular sequence of op operation or combination of operation or a function. This is how we can reduce this uh, to, to map it to a single V value instead of an iterable. That's why we should always avoid group by key and as given in the note itself. And uh, the only parameter that we can pass here is, which is also optional for all the other uh, reduce by key and aggregate by key is the number of partitions. In our case, we can ignore that because we are using local star, which is the number of partitions which is present in, our, in my uh, laptop having four CPU cores. So by default, it will all, already take four number of partitions. So yeah, so, th so the basic idea is that we should avoid group by key and instead of use some function, uh, functional methods like uh, reduce by key or aggregate by key. And this will yield much better performance. Let's going back here. Now it's as you see that for uh, here, it is creating a Java pair RDD. Uh, using group by key method, having a table of long. So it will be just having an iterable with only like one value for, for now, one, one L, but uh, this is this is not good uh, because if it, if the data is very huge and we are doing some other type of operation with having a very huge number of values, then it will it will, uh, it will be a disaster because it can consume a lot of memory and it will be very, very performance inefficient. Okay, so being said that uh, we already got this group by key because our data size is, is small so group by key uh, should work fine here although it is not performance efficient but it, it will work here because our data size is very very less i mean we are only having 1000 uh, words and around 22000 something words there in the other one so let's uh, see that what's there in the count so we will uh, instead of this tuple to as you can see there's a warning type of symbol here because we are having value as iterable long so let's create an iterable here Iterable, it's called iterables dot size, and this iterables is actually from 
uh no it's not from audible but it's just from the spark once again let me check let's see what's there we have to use com google com common collected tables so this so this is what we have to use import class and the reason is that this it tables this google common uh, collect this is already available in our uh, spark apis so this is a part is coming from spark api it's i haven't downloaded anything from google api itself it's inside embedded inside our spark api because of values it table long that's why we have to use this to have this count so now let's run this test case and see whether our lfn is correct so i assume that this would be working same as reduced by key but before that let's revise what we have uh, done so far so up till this part is exactly same as our previous test case uh, we are creating a uh, pair rdd using this uh, files contents from the, from the rdd and then we are causing calling this group by key method in this group by key method we are having length as our key and it table long as the value so it table long would be like one and uh, then we are taking the first five words from each of the java pair rdd that we created and we are printing the how many strings of a particular length are there but the value here is it tables dot size we have to use this uh, this wrap over over this tuple two which is our it table long so let's run this as mentioned that group by key should be avoided as much as possible and instead of that we should use reduce by key or aggregate by key so this will take some time as you can see that even for 1000 words it's taking a little bit more time and if for the second word list dot gz uh, which is having thousands of files it will take even more time see it's quite slow i can uh, if we run for we can do some benchmarking test that uh, for reduce by key and with this you will find that uh, it's such is uh, is not as fast as reduce by key anyway uh, the results are same as reduce by key we can see that uh, in the first file on thousand words we have nine words which which are empty that's why it's correct and similarly there are 244 words which are having length of four similarly for the second file so guys this was about the group by key method and i think uh, we have covered most of the unit test i mean we can also do aggregate by key but it's, uh, it's very much similar that what we have done so far so i will stop this uh, discussion about uh, pair rdds yeah but yeah okay one thing is important that which i missed this because i mentioned that we have got this uh, pair rdd where we can have duplicate keys so this is a difference between a java map and the java pair rdd which is in using spark that the keys can be duplicated so this is a very good method uh, we, where we can make a unique count of this so let's discuss about this in our next video how to create unique uh, keys from the pair rdd so see you all in the next video